And taking a look right now, we still have that dense fog advisory in effect for the coastal area of the Rio Grande Valley. Anyone out towards South Padre Island, Port Isabel, up to about Port Mansfield, continuing to see some of that fog uh, kind of lingering around from what we saw earlier this morning when everyone, pretty much everyone, had a dense fog advisory. Now, that one in effect until 12 o'clock. So uh, just be careful in case you're going to be driving out towards Port Isabel and South Padre Island. Take a look at your visible satellite. Obviously, as the sun comes up, it's easier to see where the clouds are at, right? So that's why at about 8, uh, 8 a.m. you don't see it as much. But as we've gone on throughout the day, this, the visibility satellite has been able to show how much cloud coverage is across the valley. And I continue to stress that we will see mostly cloudy conditions, not just today, but over the next few days. The sun will peak out here and there overall, but uh, it's going to be a mostly cloudy day today tomorrow, the following day, and the following day after that as well. We are watching a front that's pushing through the northern part of the state of Texas. Uh, not going to be affecting us. It's the next front that will be arriving on Thursday. That will bring down our temperatures. I'll show you that in just a moment. Temperatures right now, though, back up into the mid-70s, 80 degrees if you're out towards Brownsville, 75 in McAllen, 75 out towards Rio Grande City, and 71 in Edinburgh. Winds finally starting to give us a little bit of relief as well, uh, anywhere between calm to about 7 miles per hour. And some of the strongest out towards South Padre Island. Uh, uh, so uh, taking a look at your trip temperature trend for today, we're already within the mid 70s. Browns are already in 80 degrees and really we're going to move up to about 84, 85 degrees. What you saw yesterday is exactly what you'll see today. They're almost mirror images of each other with the winds coming in from the east southeast uh, temperatures moving back up into the mid 80s tomorrow, maybe another degree or two warmer past that uh, and leading up until that front arrives and then driving down our temperatures and then that's a big, big, big change 85 today in West Coast expected the same out towards McAllen 83 in Brownsville. They're just a few degrees from there and Harlan's around 83. So above average temperatures for the state of Texas, but you notice there's a big difference right there already entering the northern part of the state of Texas. We have that uh, blast of cold air, that Arctic air that's coming in. So we have two fronts that we're going to be watching tonight. Oops, sorry. Let's go back to tonight, though, back down into the mid 60s. So what we saw, uh, but take a look at your temperature trend over the next few days, getting to Saturday and Sunday. What a big change. We have a front that's coming in on Thursday and then another front that's coming in on Saturday. This is the big question mark. All signs pointing to us moving down back down down into the 40s and 30s, uh, but we're going to be monitoring that could be adjusted depending six to 10 day outlook showing everyone will be below normal temperatures. So this is something we're watching. Taking a look at your seven day forecast. Uh, notice the difference uh, again from Thursday to Friday, 81 down to 62 Saturday to Sunday, 62 to 48. And I'm being generous with Sunday and Monday saying that we're going to be in the mid 40s coming up in Valley Por Vida. I'll talk a little bit more about Sunday and Monday.